Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Finding direction in the night sky. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, Outreach Astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guest host this month on Stargazer. Are you seeking direction in your life? The stars can help. Well, at least they can tell you the difference between north and south. This week, we'll focus on the dimmer stars and constellations in the northern sky and contrast them with the blazingly bright stars in the southern sky. Along the way, I'll share my tip to find Polaris, the north star. Here, let me show you. Polaris is the guide of travelers, stargazers, and all-around lovers of the night. It twinkles at the end of the Little Dipper's handle or the Little Bear's outrageously long tail. Contrary to popular opinion, the North Star is not the brightest star in the sky. That honor belongs to Sirius, the dog star. In fact, Polaris ranks about 48th in brightness, and through the light pollution of civilization, it's just barely visible. Well, what makes Polaris so darn special? Polaris resides almost directly over our North Pole, so as the Earth rotates, causing day and night, and the daily motions of all the stars and planets, the North Star barely moves. That means all night this star shines in the northern sky, making it the perfect stellar sentinel. As the world turns and the night goes on, the stars appear to rotate in a counterclockwise motion. This motion gives us the appearance that the sky spins once a day with a pivot point at Polaris. Stars like the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia circle around the North Star, while things farther south rise in the east and set in the west. Of course, it's the Earth that's spinning, not the sky. Since the Little Dipper has some very faint stars, finding the North Star can be tough. But never fear, the other Dipper is here. The Big Dipper is much more distinct and can be seen even from urban areas. You can find the Big Dipper standing on its handle in the early evening. The ancient Greeks and some Native American groups both called these stars a big bear. Now the Big Dipper is only the rear end and tail of the bear, but have you ever seen a bear with a tail like that? It looks more like a raccoon to me. Native American legends describe a strong hunter flinging this mama bear into the sky by her tail. The poor thing really got stretched out. The baby bear got the same treatment and was flung up to the stars to be near his mother. So tonight at 9.30, use the more notable stars of the Big Dipper as pointers. Connect the dots of the two stars at the end of the Big Dipper's spoon. Continue that line down and to the left, and bingo, they'll point you right to Polaris. We're not done with the Big Dipper's pointer stars yet. If you go from the Big Dipper to the North Star, keep going, because you'll run into the bottom of a W-shaped constellation. This is Cassiopeia the Queen. Can you see the beautiful, boastful queen sitting on her throne? Well, anyway, I picture these stars as her crown glittering in the northwestern sky. But Cassiopeia is easy to find as you hop across the heavens. The distance between the Big Dipper and Polaris is the same as the distance from Polaris to Cassiopeia. Now let's turn around and face south. Wow, there are the bright stars. You can see the brightest of them all halfway above the southern horizon. That's Sirius, the dog star, which marks the nose of Canis Major, Orion's big dog. Sirius is about 23 times brighter than the North Star and scorches the winter sky with a stark white light. Up higher, but not quite as bright, is the little dog star Procyon. Procyon is one of two visible stars in Canis Minor, the little dog. Only two stars? Yeah, that's right, this is a real hot dog. Higher still are two equally bright stars of different colors. These are the heads of the Gemini twins, Pollux and Castor. With a good imagination and a dark sky, you may be able to make out the bodies and feet of the twins down and to the right of their heads. These four stars, Sirius, Procyon, Pollux, and Castor, make up the Sirius curve of bright stars arcing up from the southern horizon. Now that you can find Polaris and tell the difference between the northern and southern sky, you'll never be lost again. Keep looking up. Thank <laughs> you.